what's up guys and welcome back to everything gaming uh, and I want to start by saying I'm very very excited from the announcement of Forza Horizon 4 I'm sure that everyone else is stoked and really looking forward to it I know I am especially because it's set over here in the UK uh, which is really really cool news I know we're all expecting Japan or something like that uh, but maybe next year maybe Horizon 5 but anyway uh, I want to get stuck in into this video because I want to talk about five really cool new features in Forza Horizon 4 that we have not seen before so without further ado let's get stuck in here uh, and let's start quenching some of that thirst of excitement for you guys so the first thing we can see here obviously we've got dynamic seasons that change uh, across Forza Horizon 4 which sounds really really cool obviously we've got winter summer spring um and autumn done completely forgot there just lost my memory but anyway um so yeah obviously all of these uh different weathers and seasons will dramatically change the game and your gameplay experience which i think is really really cool uh so for example if it's snowing it's going to be really icy uh, it will change how obviously your car handles and the traction etc the same as when it's all wet and muddy etc uh, and compared to being dry you know maybe in the autumn and the summertime uh, where your grip will be a lot different, you might have to change tyre setup, etc. Uh, so I think it's a really cool feature. Obviously, before we have had snow, but that was only in the Blizzard Mountain DLC. Uh, so it'd be really cool to see the weather's, uh, the weather system and the dynamics change uh, from time to time. You know, really change things up, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think that is one of the things that have been missing uh, in Forza Horizon uh, games in the past. But I think it's really cool to see that happening. Um, and the next thing we have here um, is some new features that have added in. So one of the coolest ones is the route creator. Uh, so you can design your own races across the across the map sort of thing and share it with your friends, which I think is going to be wicked. I do think that it has missed that in the past. Um, obviously, you know, you can just before in Horizon 3 you could pick separate routes in a championship for example but that's not the same as actually designing your own race uh, and your route the last game I remember that I played that had that was uh, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition and Midnight Club uh, LA um, you know that's probably the last time I designed a race in a game do the same in obviously GTA Online but that's not a specific racing game uh, but yeah I think that's a really cool feature to have um, and there's some also um, some new sort of game modes they've added in um, but I'll get to that in a second um, so, you know, they've added new things uh, as well. So to customize your car with, which I'm sure that everyone here loves customizing their cars. So drift suspension, that would be quite cool to see. Um, you know, we've got over 450 cars you can stick that to. Um, and obviously you've got new things now. You can personalize your avatar, which has never been seen before. Um, so your clothing, accessories, etc. And even emotes, which would be quite funny to see. But I don't know if that's just following some sort of fad or some craze. Um, but something like that. But yeah, that's definitely a very cool thing to have. Probably not pe many people care about it. But it's definitely something new added to the Horizon franchise. Um, and the next thing uh, is about the multiplayer and how many people you can have. I think it's about 72 people you can have in one lobby. Uh, and instead of having randomly automated AI driving around your map, it will just be loads of other players, loads of random people. Uh, you it's not all going to be online. Don't worry, you can play solo and on your own. But, you know, there's going to be lots of sort of tasks, especially in the new Forzathon events, which will be online ones uh, where everyone has to join in to try and get a massive prize, which I think would be quite cool. Um, hopefully they'll still have Forzathon events for your solo um, when you're on, playing on your own, etc. Um, and another feature they've actually got is basically it will be able to tell what kind of player you are. So if you're more into designing or tuning cars or racing, that will help level you up. So it won't just be racing anymore that will level you up. It'll be all sorts of things. But the final one that I'm really excited to talk about is the introduction of purchasing properties and business. Now, the last racing game that had this, and I'm sure everyone remembers it, is Test Drive Unlimited and Test Drive Unlimited 2. Uh, really, really fun games. I don't know why they've not made a new one yet. It'd be quite cool to see. Uh, but anyway, little off topic. So yeah, you can now buy buildings and stuff and properties to stay at. I don't think you're going to be able to walk around them like you would in Test Drive Unlimited, but it's still a cool new feature to have. Um, but another thing I've added is businesses. So the example that they show here is a taxi firm. So you can race around in a taxi dropping passengers off. It'll probably just be like crazy taxi, but I imagine it'll just be a new way of adding, of getting money, etc. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be quite cool. Um, and as well as that, they've got new sort of modes. Uh, it's a stunt driver mode where you're in a movie or a car documentary shoot, as it says there. Another way to earn more cash. But yeah, I think that would be really cool. 
And I think all of these new features are going to make for one epic, epic game. And I really cannot wait to get it in October. Um, anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. And I hope you stay tuned for more Forza Horizon 4 videos. I'll be bringing out any latest gameplay, news and updates, etc. As well as my original Forza Horizon 3 videos. Um, but I'm going to leave you with one last image of what I feel that... If it was realistic enough, this is what we'd probably see in Forza Horizon 4. If you live over here in the UK, you'd know what I'm talking about. The traffic jam's pretty shit. Um, but anyway, guys, a massive thank you for everyone's support. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos just like this.